My mom was a sprayed of dogs. Tell her to sit. There you go. And to lay down. It didn't matter if it was a small dog or a big dog. But when I adopted Ellie three years ago in the American Pit Bull Terrier, she was worried for sure. We had dog fights. We were not sure what we were doing. She still called them her grandkids, even though she was scared of them. Hi, I'm Sam, and um, I have Ellie and Sophie as my two dogs. Well, they were very interested in my mom. When they were smaller and a puppy, it was fine. But as they got bigger, she's like, I can't, it's so scary. It was so difficult having my mom over at my house. I needed help with dog sitting and my mom um, wanted to help because dog sitting can be so expensive. She had learned that I had paid hundreds of dollars for doggy daycare. She was like, that's so much money and I'll just come over instead. That's how it worked out. And so her and my dad would come over. They would be unleashed. <laughs> and eventually my mom would watch them on their own. It was great to see how much they loved her and she loved them. Pet them, mama. <laughs> her hobbies are to go shopping for them, like for snacks and treats, outfits. He always has treats ready like, okay, here's a treat. And then she's like, okay, no more. They would just have not a lot of table manners, kind of hover around my mom every time she ate. They knew that she would give them treats. It, whenever she watches them, she's just like, what else is there to do but feed them? <laughs> She always asks how her grandkids are doing, specifically Sophie. She just has it thing for Sophie because she's a foster dog and doesn't have a true home or didn't grow up with a family for half of her life. She is always seeking out how Sophie's doing. <laughs> My partner really has like fallen in love with her too, so she's gonna stay here for a bit longer for sure.